Hi guys, welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. Welcome if you're new. I'm Karen Casey, and it is officially fall! It, it's been fall for a while, actually. It's October, like what? Third? Yeah, okay, get it together, Karen. Um, but it's fall, it's time for vampy lips and, you know, reds and warm, smoky eyes and just pumpkin spice lattes, even though I don't like pumpkin or coffee. Um, I'm a hot chocolate apple cider girl. Hey. Um, but still, I just, I love fall. I love the weather. I love the makeup. And I'm just, I'm so excited. Um, this is the first fall tutorial, not only of the season, but of my YouTube channel, because I'm very new to YouTube. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this look. And if you want to know how I did this, then keep watching. So I have already primed my eyes using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in vanilla. This is a little dark for me since I figured out how to actually match foundation to my skin. So I use this for spot concealing and for priming my lids when I want a paler color than my e.l.f. concealer. Yeah. So I'm going to take my Y15. I really like this for like the first transition color because it's tapered. Okay, it's gonna be that kind of video. Got it. I like it because it's tapered, but it's also just really fluffy and big and good at like really fluffing out the color. So I'm gonna take Salted Caramel. It's just this kind of peachy-ish tan. And that's just gonna go all over my crease, focusing on the outer crease, but bringing it in quite a bit. Next, I'm gonna go in with Milk Chocolate, and I'm gonna put that a little bit lower than Salted Caramel, but kind of just over Salted Caramel, just to really build up that color, so that everything is very blended and gradient and blown out. I'm using my Y19. Just so you know. Alright, and milk, ch oh, that's white chocolate, over this way, there we go. Milk chocolate to semi-sweet is kind of a big jump, and even if you blend it really well, you risk it looking a little choppy. The more colors you add, the more gradient it's just gonna look. That's just how colors work. So I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Shapeshifter Palette, and I'm gonna use what they call the Dark Contour. I call it the Bronze Shade. And this is gonna add a little bit of warmth um, and just be a nice middle color between Milk Chocolate and Semi Sweet. So I'm taking this on my Y18, and this is again gonna go lower in my crease, I'm starting to kind of point my brush down a little bit just to keep it low. Alright, I'm going to go in with my Y17. Any clean, medium fluffy brush will do. And I'm just going to very quickly make sure this is all blended together. Because we don't want harsh lines. All right, next I'm going to take my e.l.f. crease brush in the shade Semi Sweet. And I'm now going to like really focus this on the outer corner and just bring it in once there really is no additional product on my brush, like once it's all wedged in here. All right, I'm going to take my It Brushes for Ulta Effortless Crease Brush and just blend semi-sweet a little bit because the e.l.f. crease brush is really good for placing uh, a color in the crease really precisely. This is good for blending that out. If I initially went in with this and placed it where I wanted it, it would be not as precise. This makes it really precise, but blended. All right, I'm gonna take my Y22 and triple fudge it's this very this very dark brown 
over here and on the side of that Y22 like this. I'm going to place this on the outer part of my eye a little into that crease but keeping it very very low. And when there's no additional product on my brush I'm going to blend it forward just a little bit so it's you know a shadow of the color comes about halfway across my lid. Do you see what I mean? It's very concentrated right here but then it's just kind of sort of a little whisper of the color as I go in. All right, and then on my Y18, I'm gonna take salted caramel, just a little bit, tap off any excess, and just go in my crease and make sure these are all really blended together. All right, and I'm taking that Y22 again, and with no additional product, I'm just bringing triple fudge back up a little bit. All right, and with that same pencil brush, still the Y22, I'm gonna take Cherry Cordial. It's this very dark red down here. I'm gonna take a little bit of it and just sweep it into my crease very low. This has just a little bit of shimmer to it, so you definitely don't wanna take this up too high because shimmer too high above the crease can look not so flattering. All right, I'm gonna take my e.l.f. blending brush because it's so narrow this way and slightly tapered, and I'm gonna blend Cherry Cordial into everything there. This is just gonna deepen everything and make the color that we're gonna put in the inner corner, it's gonna tie that color in better. All right, and on this blending brush, I'm actually going to take just a little, little bit of cherry cordial just to blend it into my crease a little better. And again, with my Y22, I'm going to take just a little additional bit of triple fudge and I'm just going to build the intensity back up. And I'm actually going to take my It Brushes for Ulta Absolute Shadow Brush. I just kind of do a little tch, 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 over triple fudge just to blend it further. So now on just any small shader brush, I'm going to take Cherry Cordial again, just a little, and right in the center of the eye, I'm just going to brush that on there. And this is going to allow for a smoother transition from triple fudge to what we're going to use in the inner corner. Or not quite in the inner corner, but the inner portion of the eye. And definitely do not bring this above your crease. You want to keep it right. So my crease is here and I'm stopping here. Keep it below the crease until it like just touches your crease colors. You want to keep dark colors low because if you bring them too high, it can very easily look like you've been in a fight and you got hit in the face, in the eye. So the lower it is, the better. That'll just look nice and smoky and dark versus like you've been beaten up. All right. And now I'm going to take another shader brush. This is my eyeshadow Sia brush from e.l.f. and my illuminating mist and set from e.l.f. Any setting spray you have will do. I wouldn't use a mattifying one, any, you know, just regular or illuminating or dewy, whatever. Yeah. And I'm going to give this a couple of spritz, dry off the handle a little bit because the handle being wet makes me nuts. And then I'm going to take Amaretto. It is this beautiful reddish brown gorgeousness. I don't even really quite know how to describe it. And I'm just going to load up my brush with that. And that's what's going to go on this blank part of the eye. And I'm going to run that right in and slightly over Cherry Cordial. See what I mean about that smoother transition? It goes from 
this bright red to kind of a darker red to the brown. Smoother transition. And I'm just going to pack this on the inner portion of the eye. And to make sure that transition is just really nice and smooth, I'm going to take my e.l.f. crease brush and a little bit of cherry cordial and just do another kind of right where the colors meet. All right, and that is it for the lid color. I'm gonna do some winged liner and I will be right back. So I'm going to skip face primer because I have a water-based foundation, uh, the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation and silicone primers do not play well with water foundations. They separate and it doesn't, it doesn't look good. So better to just skip the primer if you don't have a water-based primer. And I'm gonna take a damp beauty sponge. You can use a brush with this. I find it gets a little cakier, but it stays more dewy. The, for some reason, it's not as dewy when you use the sponge, but I'd rather have it be less dewy and less cakey. And I'm gonna take five drops of that to start. And then just blend it on my face. All right, and the beauty sponge really shears this out. Uh, this is supposed to be full coverage, and it when you use the sponge, it's just not. So I'm gonna take another, and that's much more full coverage. There we go. And since we are doing this full, co full coverage, blend and blend and blend and blend. The more you blend, the less cakey it's gonna be. All right, and since that is so full coverage and we did do two layers, I'm going to blot a little bit. So I'm just taking a paper towel. You can take a tissue, you can take toilet paper, whatever. Um, and I'm splitting it so it's a thin layer that's like two ply. So I made it one ply. I'm gonna wrap it around my sponge and with like no pressure at all, I'm just gonna lightly tap my face just to get off any excess because it's that excess that's not like pressed into the skin that's gonna cake up. Now I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape in Fair and I'm gonna dot it in that triangle shape because uh, if I make a full you know opaque triangle that's too much product for me and I'm initially going to go in with the smoothing concealer brush from It Brushes for Ulta kind of pat and sweep this into everything trying to really fill in the creases under my eye and now I'm gonna go in with my little beauty sponge and just make this look nice and flawless and airbrushed and further blend it out all right once that is blended out I'm gonna take my cover FX setting powder and my medium sponge and I'm gonna try baking. Um, oh god. Oh. I don't normally bake. It usually sucks the life out of my skin. But this is supposed to be really good for baking and supposed to not do that. So I wanna try it out. If you do not bake under your eyes, don't just set your under eye normally. But I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a whirl. Okay, so I have my concealer on and I'm trying to bake everywhere that I tend to get a little creasy so my under eye my smile lines and these little like 11s I get in my forehead because I, I make stupid faces all the time so while we have all this going on I'm going to contour I'm gonna use my little sample of my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil I normally use my Urban Decay Shape Shifter palette, but this is a little bit warmer, which I think is going to go with the eye look a little better. It's not really a warm tone, it's more neutral, but it's warmer than the Urban Decay one is. So I'm going to take my Morphe Y12, it's just a very flat contouring 
brush. Now I'm going to take my Y10 and just blend this out. Alright, I'm going to take my Y1 and just sweep away all this excess powder. Yeah, that's not my favorite thing in the world. Um, my skin is just, it's too dry for baking. If you have not as dry skin, this would be an excellent powder to bake with. It's just, it's not for my skin. It's a lot creasier than it would be had I not done that. So we're just gonna move past that, right? Right? Yeah? Okay. At least I tried. Alright, so now we're gonna do the lower lash line. Alright, so I'm gonna take salted caramel and run this across my entire lash line. This is just gonna give the darker colors something to blend into. Alright, and on that same brush, I'm gonna take milk chocolate and bring it most of the way in. I'm stopping like right where my tear duct is. I'm not bringing it all the way into the inner corner. I'm bringing it kind of right to where my lashes stop on the inner part of my eye. I'm using my Y20 for this, by the way. Just any sort of pencil brush will do. Now I'm gonna take my Y22 and some of Semi Sweet and closer to my lash line, I'm gonna run that to about the inner part of my iris. So stopping about here. Now with my, my Y, <sighs> my Y21, I'm gonna go into Cherry Cordial and just stamp this about halfway across my eye. I'm gonna wipe off my Y22 really well to get those darker colors off. And I'm gonna go in, in with salted caramel and kind of go underneath the colors just to blend them all together. And I'm kind of pulling them out a little bit just to meet the wing so it doesn't look so choppy. So the golden shade creme brulee is going to make a really pretty highlight with these colors, but it's a little dark for me as a highlight. If you have a medium skin tone or an olive undertone or, you know, are even darker, you can use that on its own. It will be beautiful. I'm so fair that I, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. I am consistently the lightest shade in every brand I've ever looked at. So I'm going to wet my brush. I'm just taking my e.l.f. concealer brush. It's this itty bitty little thing. And I'm going to take a mixture of creme brulee, which is that gold shade, and champagne truffle, which is this white pink shade and I'm just going to kind of go back and forth between them so that I have a mixture of the two and I'm going to pop that on my inner corner and I would like that to be a little more golden so I'm going to go with some more creme brulee okay so I'm going to do my brows I'm going to do them a little differently than I normally do but it's still you know just filling in my brows so we're going to zip through it real quick so I'm going to take my NYX 3-in-1 brow pencil and just draw the shape in so I'm going to kind of outline my brows and as you can see I started the line not right where these kind of straight hairs stick up in the um in the front kind of you know after all of that just to make this softer and more natural so I'm going to draw like four or five strokes or you know 10 whatever 
right where those straight hairs stick up. And I'm gonna fill in the balder patches with the pencil. So right there and right here. And then I'm gonna spoolie this out just to blend it. And once the pencil's blended out, I'm gonna take my Y23 and my e.l.f. Um, eyebrow kit in ash. And I'm gonna take the wax part of this. So, I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm not flipping you off. So the wax part there on my angled brush. Excuse me, I need my glasses on for this. And I'm gonna fill in the outline that I had of my brow with this wax except for the very front or the inner part of my brows that have those hairs that stick straight up i'm gonna leave those alone so that they're a little lighter and it looks a little more natural all right and i'm gonna go back to my nyx three and one brow pencil and go to the powder in here and i'm just gonna kind of put this over where I put the wax. This will just kind of set the wax and make my brows a little darker, fuller, all the things that we want from our brows. But again, I'm not taking it to those hairs that stick straight up at the inner part of my brow. And you definitely want to spoolie this out, get out any extra powder, make it look more natural, softer, all that stuff. Okay, you can then set the brows with a brow mascara. The NYX 3-in-1 brow pencil comes with a nice one. It's a little dark for me. Um, I could probably get away with it for this look, but I'm not, I'm not gonna. Uh, you can also use a clear brow gel, which I do not own currently so my brows don't really move much anyway so i don't really have to set them now blush i'm taking mellow moth from elf on just this little slightly tapered fluffy eco tools brush and i'm taking that on the apples of my cheeks on back focusing it primarily on the apples but i'm definitely blending it back toward my hairline along my cheekbone All right, and now for highlight, I'm going in with my Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop. I think that the, you know, peachy white gold undertone here will go well with, you know, the gold that we have on the inner corner and the whole eye look in general. And I really want the eye look to be the star of the show here, not so much the highlight. So I'm going to take a fan brush. This is my Y13. Elf also makes a good fan brush uh, for very n not expensive and i'm just gonna get some product on there highlight my cheekbones cupid's bow i just realized i never blended out my nose contour wow that's embarrassing okay we're gonna blend that out real quick it's a good thing i didn't do a real heavy nose contour jeez All right, the bridge of the nose. I currently can't find that little highlighting brush I used for the inner corner of my eye. So I'm just gonna take this Tarte concealer brush and champagne pop and just on the very tip of the brush, I'm gonna put this right under the arch of my brow and then just blend it out. Last step, la oh no, not last step, I need mascara. All right, last step, last step, last step. <laughs> I'm taking the Milani Amore Matte Metallic Lip Cream. I don't know why they call it Amore Matte, because it's not matte, it's metallic. <laughs> Man, that bugs me. Um, In pretty problematic, prob problematic, like matte, matte, <laughs> get it, yeah. Um, this looks very red in the bottle. On your lips, it looks more reddish brown. It, it looks very, very dark. 
and I thought it would go very well with the eye look. It's very vampy and fall and just wow. So and I, I love the smell of these. All right, and here we are. Here is the finished look. Very fall, vampy, monochromatic. I just, I love this look. I put on mascara before I did the lip. I forgot to mention that. Um, I didn't put on a ton, and I didn't put on false lashes because I really wanted the eyeshadow to be seen. You can load up on the mascara. You can add false lashes, whatever you want. I just, this was my preference. So, thank you very much for watching. I'm so excited about fall. I'm excited to wear this out and about. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that it YouTube, hopefully, uh, tells you when I post videos, and I, I love you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. How many more times am I gonna drop this palette? Ooh, that's amaretto. I just stabbed myself in the eye with my pinky. Okay, and. Is this like the eighth or ninth time I've dropped something? So I'm gonna take my Illuminating Mist and set. Oh my god, please tell me I'm recording. <gasps> no! Why didn't it cut out?